Hi, this is Victoria Nale and today I want to talk about how to do your PhD in two and a half years. So I recorded a video with respect to my PhD journey, but by the time I recorded it, I was still a PhD student. And this is the first time I'm actually talking about my PhD journey when I'm actually a doctor. And it's quite a challenge to do a PhD, especially if you're in a foreign country. It's very expensive and PhD journey is basically a very, very lonely journey. And whereas there are many issues we need to consider with respect to a PhD, today I want to focus on how can you write your PhD thesis in two and a half years. First and foremost, you really need to believe in yourself, believe you can do this and you should have passion for your research. And in that respect, the first thing you have to do is to pick a topic. Get a topic you are really passionate about. Get a topic that will stay relevant even after 10 years. And this is important because in most cases, many people waste a lot of time looking at different topics and you'll find like after six months of doing research, a student will, uh, will opt to change the topic. That means you'll be wasting a lot of time on a new topic. So before you start, make sure you get a topic that is relevant, a topic you are passionate about, and most importantly, a topic which you are sure you can get material and data with respect to your research. So the first thing, get a good topic and make sure you have all the necessary material with respect to that topic. And then the next important thing is make sure you write every day. By, by every day, I mean set a target to at least write 200 words a day because in most cases you get relaxed you feel like oh it will be three years it will be four years so i'll start writing in my second year no it's good like as you are reading make sure you're writing and you don't at this moment in time do not pay a lot of attention to being perfect in your writing just write whatever you can and then you can perfect it afterwards, but set a goal to write at least 500 words or 200 words every day, and that will keep you moving. And then the next important thing is you need to manage your supervisors. For a PhD, you need to know who is going to be your supervisor, because the PhD journey is basically between you and your supervisor. So get to know your supervisor in and out, what are their research interests, what are their writing styles, you can adopt that to ensure that there's no contradictions. And also the other thing is you have to be persistent because in most cases you are supervised by professors who are very busy. So you have to be persistent, you have to remind them to go through your work. And also make sure you don't send half baked work to them. Take your time to do your research, take your time to perfect it and then you can send in the work where it's actually good quality and obviously it will save a lot of time because your supervisor will not be going through, will not waste a lot of time correcting small things. So manage your supervisors, get to know their writing styles, their research interests, and also be persistent. Send them emails, remind them all the time to go through your work. And then the other thing which is really important is take time to rest because uh, during your PhD, you'll be, you'll work a lot, you'll be reading a lot, you'll spend a lot of time in the library. And for foreign students, we basically have to work because me, I spent all my PhD period working, but also reading. And I traveled in different countries while working. I went to Belgium where I was working as a research fellow with the NHS Secretariat. I went to Botswana where I worked with the Southern African Development Community. I went to Tanzania, where I worked with the East African Community. So in all my traveling and in all my working, I made sure I take some, some time off to rest, but also I made sure I stay focused on my PhD. So you can work while doing your PhD, but make sure you rest. Do not overwork yourself and take time off to relax. And then the last thing, obviously with a PhD, after you've done all your writing and everything, is the Viva. And for your Viva, it's, there's only one thing. 
know your work in and out read your thesis in and out you shouldn't be surprised by any question which, which relates to your phd research so know your work in and out be confident and during the viva if the examiner asks you something which is outside your research be confident enough to say i have some knowledge about this topic but it's outside my research so i would prefer not to address it because my topic is focused on this so you have to be confident and most importantly believe in yourself so basically the few things you have to consider if you want to write your thesis on time finish your phd journey on time get a topic and do not change topics all the time so take your time to get a topic write every day read but also make sure you write every day um, manage your supervisors and then most importantly take time to rest and relax so that's it about how to write your phd thesis in two and a half years i did it you can do it and everyone can do it so that's it thank you Bye-bye.